All right, so we talked about the fact here that air pressure on these little station models, there's a little bit of a conversion that you need to do. So here, they're showing the number 196, and they're saying that that represents 1,019.6 millibars. So it's really easy to convert from millibars to the code you put on the station model. Really, really simple. If we've got the number 1019.6, right? What we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the 10. Dang it. And you get rid of the decimal point. And, you're, and in a perfect world, if I could erase and look through the viewfinder and everything, you know, we would be left with 196. So that's how that converts to that. So what if we have the number 996.8 millibars, 996.8 millibars? Well, we kind of do the same thing. It's really easy. Instead of dropping the 10, we just drop the 9 at the beginning instead. So um, instead of writing 996.8, I'm just going to write 96.8, except I'm also going to omit the decimal point too. So we'd end up with just 968. That's what would go on our weather station. So here's a couple more for us to take a look at, right? We've got 1014.2 millibars. What will that convert to? Well, drop the 10. We're left with 14.2. But remember, drop the decimal point. So on the weather station, we would write 14142 rather. And what if it's 988.8? Well, remember, you drop the 9 on the left side, so we would have 88.8, but we're going to write 888, because remember, drop the decimal point. And that's what goes in the upper right-hand corner on the reference tables. So there's going to be times where we need to read the weather station, and we're going to have to decode the three-digit number and turn it into an actual air pressure. So the way that's done is something called the 500 rule. So if the three digit number is greater than 500, you put a nine on the beginning. If it's less than 500, it gets a 10 at the beginning. So here's two to practice with. So the number 987, well, that's greater than 500. Hmm. So that's gonna get a nine at the beginning. So I'm gonna start by writing a nine. And then I just write nine, eight, seven, put in your decimal point between the last two numbers and put in MB for millibars. So on a weather map, the number 987 means that there's 998.7 millibars. The number, under e uh, the number underneath it, 324, right? Well. 324 is less than 500, so it gets a 10. So the number 324, I'm going to start off by writing 10, and then I'm going to put 324. Put your decimal point in between the last two digits and put MB. So 324 on the weather map symbol is 1032.4 millibars. Now, what if you forget what if you forget the 500 rule? How can you check and make sure that you're correct? Use your handy dandy reference tables. See how we've got this lovely pressure scale right here. So the pressure scale shows you all of these pressures here. So if you forget the 500 rule, right? If you accidentally wrote 10 and then 98.7 well, you could see that that would be way off the top of the scale here. This only goes up to 1,040. So we know that this is no good. And what if down here we wrote 932.4? Hmm. Well, we could see here that 932 would go off the bottom of the scale. Right? It only goes down to 900 and.